Hello everyone, I am Stella Arakarani, Assistant Professor of English from ADM College for Women Autonomous. Now we are going to see the subject name Indian English Literature. We are going to see the lesson Hayavadana. It was written by Girish Karnad. Author full name is Girish Raghunath Karnad. He was born on 19th May in 1938. He was a contemporary writer, playwright, screenwriter, actor and movie director in Canada language. He mostly used three techniques, twist, history and mythology and triangle relationship. It is draw inspiration from a 1940 novella by Thomas Mann called the transposed head. Thomas Mann was inspiration for transposed head from an 11th century trans Sanskrit text uh, called the Kadar Sarit Sagara. Hayavadana was Indian Canada language two act play. It was published in 1971. Later he translated into English himself. It is twin play is a Noha Mandala in 1988. His notable works are Tukluk, Tail Danda, Naha Mandala and Hayavadana. He got Janapit Award for the highest literary honor conferred in India. Finally, he died on 10th June 2019. Let's see meaning of the title Hayavadana. He is a man with the head of horse. Haya means horse and Vadana means face. Bahavada is uh, uh, something of your chorus um, commenting upon the theme of the play. He proceeds to tell us the story of the two youth, Devdatta and Kapila. Let's see the character of the play Hayavadana. First one is Bahavada. He was the main character because he was the narrator of the play. Next, Devdatta. One of the two friends, he was a man of knowledge. Next, Kapila. Devdatta's friend and he was the uh, muscular body and he was the uh, son of iron smith. Next Padbini, a beautiful woman, love interest of the two friends. Next Hayavadana, a strange creature with the head of horse and the body of man. Next actor one, an assistant to Bahavada. Next, goddesses Kali, the goddesses who bring Devdatta and Kapila back to life. The boy, son of Devdatta and Badmini. Next, Vidyasagar, it was the minor character in this play because he was the father of Devdatta. Let's see Act 1. The play opened with a puja to Ganesha as the Bahavada acts that Ganesha blessed the performance that he and the company are about to put on. Then he places the audience in the setting of the play Dharmapura and begins to introduce the central characters. The first is Devdatta, the son of a Brahmin who outshines the other pandits and poets of the kingdom. The second is Kapila, the son of Iron Smith who is killed at physical feats of strength. The two are the closest friend of this play. Next, as the Bahavada set up the story, there is a scream of a terror of stage. An actor runs a, on stage screaming that he has seen a creature with a horse's head and man's body and the voice of a human. The Bahavada doesn't believe him and even when the creature enters, the Bahavada thinks it is a mask and attempt to pull off Ayavadana's head. Upon realizing it is his real head, the Bahavada listens as Ayavadana explains his origin. He is the son of a princess and a celestial being in horse form and he is desperate to become a full man. The Bahavada suggests he go to the temple of Gali. As uh, she grants anything anyone asks for Hayavadana, set, set out for the temple. Awful that Kali will be able to change his head to a man head. Next, recovering from the interruptions, the Bahavada returned to the play. Uh, he begins to sing, explaining that the two heroes fell in love with a 
girls and forget themselves meanwhile a female chorus sings in the background about the nature of love devdatta and kapila enter devdatta explain his love uh, for padmini explaining that he would sacrifice his home and his head if he could marry her kapila at first make fun of devdatta but then sees how much his friend is uh, affected by padmini he agreed uh, he agrees to find out uh, her name and where she lives kapila goes to the street where padmini lives and begins to knock on the door when padmini opens the door to her home kapila is immediately love struck padmini asks him what he want outwitting him as he tries to come up with a reasons why he is there he he eventually explains that he is there to woo her for devdatta kapila says to himself that padmini really needs a man of steel and that devdatta is too sensitive for someone as quick as a padmini the bahavada reveals that devdatta and padmini uh, were quickly married and that all three remained friends the story then jump forward 6 months then padmini is pregnant with a son and the three friends are mean to go on a trip to ujjain together devdatta expresses jealousy that padmini seems to have some affections uh, for kapila which padmini denies she says that she will cancel the trip so that the two of them can spend more time together but when kapila arrives ready to leave padmini changes her mind and decided to go much to devdatta's dismay as the three of them travel together padmini remarks how well kapila drives the cart she points out a tree with the fortunate lady's flower and kapila rushes off uh, to grab flowers for her padmini remarks to herself how muscular kapila uh, is and devdatta sees padmini watching him with desire when they pass the temple of rudra and kali devdatta is reminded of his old promise and sneaks away to cut off his head kapila goes to look for him and upon discovering devdatta's headless body he is struck with grief he decided to cut off his head as well padmini begins to get worried about the two men and goes after them she sees their two headless body on the ground and attempt to commit suicide as well the goddess kali stops her and tells her she will revive the men if padmini replaces their head on their bodies padmini in her excitement accidentally uh, switches the two heads when she replaces them the two men are revived one with devdatta's head and kapila's body and another one is uh, kapila's head and devdatta's body let's see act 2 it was a uh, opening with at first the three of them are amused by the mix up but when they try to return home they discover issues each man believes that padmini is his wife devdatta's head claims that Uh, the head rules the body and so she is his wife uh, kapila's head argues that his hand accepted uh, accepted hers at the wedding ceremony and that the child is carrying came from his body badmini is aghast but decided to go with devdatta's head and kapila does not return with them after few months as padmini travels through the woods she discovers kapila living there he has uh, regained his strength just as devdatta has lost his he explains how he had uh, to war against his body and uh, how he has come to accept that he is in fact kapila batmini implies that she is attracted to him and uh, spends several nights with him devdatta returns with the dolls and try to find padmini in the woods he discovers her with kapila and the two decided to kill each other to put an end to the struggles between their heads and their bodies after they have killed each other patmini decided to perform sati 
throwing herself on the funeral pyre. The Bhagavata explains that Padmini was in her own way a devoted wife. Just as the audience believes the play has ended, a second actors come on stage saying that there was a horse walking down the street singing the national anthem. The first actor also enters with a young boy in tow. The boy is very serious and does not speak, laugh or cry. It is a revealed the child is Batmini's son. At the point, Hayavadana returns, he explained that he had asked Kali to make him complete but instead of making him a complete human, she has made him a complete horse. Patmini's son begins to laugh at Hayavadana and the two sing together. Hayavadana still wishes to rid himself of this human voice and the boy encourages him to laugh. As Hayavadana laughs more and more, his laughter turns into a snake and he does become a complete horse. The Bahavada conclude the story by marveling uh, at the mercy of Ganesh, who has fulfilled the desires of Haivadana and the young boy. He says that it is the time to pray and Badmini, Devdatta and Kapila join in thanking the Lord for ensuring the completion and success of the play. The main theme of Haivadana, a play by Girish Karnath, revolves around the complexities of identity, the research for completeness and the nature of desire. The play is based on a tale from the ancient Indian epic, the Mahabharata, but Karnath gives it a modern twist by exploring theme of love, friendship and the limitations of human form. However, the nerd dwells into a human desire for perfection and completeness often leading to a sense of incompleteness and dissatisfaction. The character struggles with their personal desires, societal expectations and the quest for wholeness. The play challenges conventional notations to identity and beauty, fusing characters and the audience to question uh, the importance of physical appearance versus inner essence. Through its blended of mythology, symbolism and modern storytelling, the play prompts the audience to reflect on the uh, intricacies of human nature and the uh, dilemmas of uh, existence. Let's see conflict between the mind versus the body. The most central plot of a Hayavadana is the love triangle between Padmini, Devdatta and Kapila. Devdatta and Kapila who are the best friend both fall in love with Padmini who in turn is attracted to attributes in each of them. The dynamics between the three characters dramatize the conflict between the mind and the body. The play shows that uh, while the head may be more in uh, control of the body and may follow more logical instincts, the body and its desires can prove just as strong in uh, swaying the course of human life. At the beginning of the play, before Padmini is introduced with Devdatta and Kapila's friendship reflects the mind having more control over the body. Devdatta, a poet, represents the mind and the intellect. He has a lot of soy over the actions and the emotions of Kapila. Kapila, who represents the body and its desire. For example, Kapila tells Devdatta that he would walk into the fire for Devdatta and that he is closer to Devdatta than he is to his own parents. Kapila agrees to Upadbini on behalf of Devdatta even though he himself has feeling for Padmini and uh, remorse that she needs a man of steel like himself. When Padmini becomes a more integrated into the story, she follows her head and marries Devdatta but she quickly realizes that she also has feeling and desires for Kapila. She is particularly uh, uh, desirous of uh, his body. Karnath uh, does not write any interactions between Devdatta and Badmini before they are married. Instead, the Bahavada provides the most insight on why she decided to marry him, explaining that because her family was wealthy and uh, 
His family was intellectual. Nothing could have stood in the way of their marriage. But when the storyline resumes after the two are married and Padmini is pregnant, Devdatta quickly becomes jealous of Padmini's affections towards Kapila. Padmini watches Kapila when he does uh, anything physically demanding because Kapila is much more fit. Demonstrating her own transition from desire for the mind to desire for the body. When the two men switch bodies, the conflict becomes even more explicit as there is confusion over who is Padmini's husband. The man with Devdatta's head and Kapila's body or the man with Kapila's head and Devdatta's body. Padmini for her own part shows her uh, desires quite plainly as uh, she go immediately with the Devdatta's head Kapila's body. A being that speaks to her two desires. The dolls that uh, Devdatta's buy for his and Badmini's child eventually become symbol of Badmini's bodily desire, expressing her inner thought to the audience. They establish their connections to decide by describing how the other children and uh, mother look at them with glowing eyes as the story progresses. The doll describe how uh, Devdatta's hand uh, have offended uh, signaling Padmini's warning decide for that new versions of Devdatta because his body is reverting to its old form. The doll eventually narrate Padmini's dream describing how she is dreaming of a man with a rough face and a nice body, demonstrating how she is continues to feel conflicted between her mind and body as the men return to their original state. The story of Devdatta, Kapila and Badmini thus dramatize the conflict between the mind and the body or between logic and lust. Although initially the head personified by Devdatta wins eventually the body personified by Kapila. Demonstrates its equal power over human emotions and actions. Ultimately, because they are unable to reconcile uh, this uh, contrast, the two men kill each other and Padmini kills uh, herself, proving that when these two sides of human being are not in agreement, the consequences can be tragic. Girish Karnath was using the theme of hybridity. In every character like Gandharva become the white uh, stallion horse by curse of Sage Kubera. The princess of Karnataka become a horse by curse of Gandharva, their child Hayavadana, who was a head of us with a human body. The main character of Kapila and Devdatta mistakenly swapped their head by Padmini. In this play, I will try to explore that the play Hayavadana was twisted by women's loud desire and children was innocently affected by their parents' mistake. The play starts and ends with hybridity god of lord ganesha who was a head of elephant with a human body in my view of the play i will try to explore the tragic flow of the play hayavadana was woman's love design because the princess of karnataka was fell in love with the white stallion oz one day revealed that the white stallion as a celestial being of gandharva princess was didn't accept her husband and she enjoying her curses by her husband. She never worried about her child Hayavadana because she was very selfish. Uh, her love decided towards the white stallion horse only. Next, Padmini. She was not loyal with her husband Devdatta because she attracted by Kapila's muscular body. Finally, Kapila's and Devdatta's friendship was broken by Padmini's love desire. At last, Two men were fought and died for Padmini. Padmini not worried about her child because of her loud desires towards Kapila. At last, Hayavadana who was a horse face with a human body and a child of Padmini are affected by their mother's loud desire and selfishness. Both are grown up and live alone in their life with nature's lap. In this play, everything was twisted by woman's loud desire and Hayavadana and the son of Padmini was innocently affected by their parents' mistake.
Thank you for giving this opportunity. Thank you.